Um, for those of you who uh, watched and were involved in what was going on last fall, uh, I was playing a fundamental role in, uh, in the outrage that we had raised about uh, the production of the series uh, about the retrial of Louis Riel. It wasn't so much the production itself that outraged us, it was the whole process of everything that was going on. Uh, the, the Métis people, Métis leaders, instinctively felt, and I think justifiably so, that if anything is going to be on the CBC of a magnitude of the kind of show that was being talked about, uh, which was about the Métis people, then surely the Métis people should have been involved and consulted in some kind of a way. Uh, the Real family, perhaps, involved or consulted in some kind of a way. Real is the very essence of who the Métis people are. We see him as our leader, our hero today, just as he was then. When you talk about Real, you're talking about the Métis people. My uh, objections, when I first contacted the CBC and the Dominion Institute, were summarily dismissed. Uh, the response was, don't worry about it. We know better. You'll be happy in the end. We're doing the right thing here. Uh, the end is going to justify the means. Uh, the, uh, the other thing that, that I, in Ontario, coming from the perspective as the leader of the Métis in Ontario, that I have to tell you about, is that whenever Riel's name is invoked in any kind of a way, the most sensitive place uh, in the whole of Canada is in the province of Ontario. The legislature in Ontario passed a bounty of $5,000 on Louis Riel's head in 1872, equivalent of about $600,000 in 1990 terms. And all of that money was paid out. And ever since then, ever since Riel was finally hanged in 1885, the province of Ontario has made certain that it lives in denial about the history of the Métis people in the province of Ontario, the history of our communities in that province. Indeed, in a court case that we will hear more about tomorrow, the Powley case, when we finally got to the Supreme Court of Canada in March the 17th of this year, the Ontario government's position, which had been consistent throughout, was that Métis communities never existed in the province of Ontario and don't exist today. There never were Métis people there, and there are no Métis people there today. That, despite the fact that we had proven, without question, at trial and at two levels of appeal, the existence of the historic Métis community at Sault Ste. Marie in the early 1800s, uh, throughout the period of Riel, and even in today's terms. We feel that in Ontario. The Métis people feel that prejudice, the bigotry, the snide remarks that are made throughout that province. I met somebody here today who told me his white ancestors come from Picton, Ontario, and he tried to uh, contact them just recently. Got a name out of the phone book that is the same as his name. And when they found out that he was a Métis from northern Saskatchewan, all of a sudden, phone went dead, and he's never been able to contact them since. That's what we deal with in the province of Ontario. You cannot raise Louis Riel's name in our province without that just having a profound ripple throughout the whole province. Something major is at stake whenever Riel's name is made uh, mentioned. Something major is at stake for the Métis people, positively or negatively. 
And when the CBC decided to do what it did, we obviously tried to get involved to see if we could engage them in doing the right thing. We didn't believe that playing Russian roulette with whether or not to hang Riel again or the Métis people is, was something that would be appropriate for the National Public uh, Television Network of Canada. The Riel issue for us symbolizes the bottom line. Where is the respect for Riel or for the Métis people?